Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the final video in our six-part tutorial series on Google Slides. In this video, we're going to show you how to apply transitions between your slides and animate objects within your slide. We'll start by adding a transition between our slides. To do this, come to Slide, Transition, and then under this transition, select the transition type you want from this drop-down. I'm going to use cube. You can adjust the duration of the transition as so. If you want this transition to apply to all slides, I click apply to all slides. You can see which slides have transitions applied by looking for these three circles icon within next to each slide. I'm going to click apply to all slides. If you want a preview of your transition, click play and we'll now see a preview of our transition. Next, we're going to look at animations. I'm going to animate this slide one text object here. Come out to insert, then select animation. You'll see that we have object animations. I'm choosing so you choose the animation type from this drop down here. I'm going to make it fly in from left. You can choose whether this happens when you click after the previous animation, which may be a slide transition, or with the previous animation. I'm going to make it happen on click. With text objects, you can also choose to animate it either by word or by paragraph. If you would, it is automatically animated by word. If you tick, tick this box, it will instead animate it by paragraph. You can also adjust the speed of the transition as so. If we click play, we'll see a preview of our animations. We have our slide transition, and then when I click, we'll see slide one will fly in from the left. Stop that animation. You can apply multiple animations to the same object. To add a second animation, click Add Animation while still selected on our text object. Now I might say want it to fly out to top. I'll also have this happen on click. And now let's preview our animations. So we have our slide transition. We click once and we have our first animation, which is the fly in from left. And then we click again and it will fly out to the top. We can stop our animations now. That's everything we wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And that's the end of this tutorial series. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, there'll be a link to the whole playlist in the description below. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel for future series like this. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.